Hello again from me and the SD1. So starting off with all the stuff that I've already done. Now, if you're on the Discord, you'll have seen a fair bit of this already. So this here is uh, a product called Anti-Vibe. Very clever play on words, let's all laugh. Uh, made by a company called Vibe Audio. Now it's much like Dynamat, same deal. A butyl rubber um, adhesive underlayer that sticks to the body. Uh, an aluminium foil top layer, which I'm convinced is only there to keep you sane while you put it down. Like this doesn't exist for a practical reason, uh, sorry, for a, for like a sound deadening reason, I'm pretty sure this is here, so that you can actually press it down without like, you know, butyl rubber goo getting stuck all over you. So this is on a, all the body, that helps stop some vibration getting into the metalwork to begin with by making it heavier. So instead of the car body sounding like this, it now sounds like this. Which is a slightly unfair comparison, the floor is always more rigid than the door panels. Um, but nonetheless, like the the you can you can hear the type of improvement that you get. But certainly the uh, the roof, since I've um, I've done a full treatment on the whole inside of the roof of the car, most of which you can't see because the sunroof sled is now in place. But that had a huge huge difference. Actually, when you tap the roof of this now, it's quieter than the roof of like a modern car. I can, the comparison I use is a two thousand eight uh, BMW five series, which for the most part sounds really really solid. My roof sounds more solid. Like it's a it's a much um, flatter kind of more dead impact when you hit it a bit more of a thud and less of a uh, ringing which is really really nice it means a lot less noise is going to make it through into the cabin on top of that now this isn't going in the roof there's no room for it i haven't really got the thickness with the sunroof module and everything going in but the floor and the front of the footwell and the rear bench are all getting on top of this they're getting a layer or arguably three or four layers depending on how you count it of mass loaded vinyl and foam to keep even more noise out. So the floor already is relatively difficult to put any noise into in the first place. So the next step that you wanna do is take the noise that is making it into the floor, you know, that sort of chassis vibration that you get, and you wanna reduce how much of that gets into the air in the cabin. Because this as it is, when this vibrates, it couples it directly into all of the air that's in the passenger cell. So all of the noise that makes it through the floor goes straight into the air. Now the mass loaded vinyl treatment here is meant to cut down the impact of that even further. So the really good stuff up here, this is, uh, I think it's called Soundstopper Pro V2 from Dodo Barrier. I could be wrong. Um, this is a four layer construction. It's two pieces of open cell foam sandwiched around a heavy, uh, what's called a mass loaded vinyl. And it's basically a vinyl that's had uh, lots and lots of like metal particular added to it just to add extra weight, add extra density to it. And the vinyl is, I think in audio terms, they call it a limp barrier. The idea is you want a heavy, heavy barrier that when sound pressure hits it from the air or from any other material, because it's so heavy, it doesn't move very much. So you've got obviously air is quite light. You can imagine the air trying to punch this vinyl and the vinyl's like, and what? It's just heavy. It just soaks up the impact. But to make that work, you've got to decouple it from other stuff. You've got to have it so that air is what's hitting the vinyl because you can put that stuff directly on the metal and it's not gonna do a damn thing because the metal is heavy enough to push the vinyl around. So you put the foam in between, I don't know where I'm pointing, you put the foam in between it and that decouples the two so you can have the metal vibrating a bit without taking the vinyl with it. Now the best stuff is this open cell foam. Obviously it's a lot softer, it takes up a lot more vibration. However, if you stand on it or you sit on it or whatever, eventually it will collapse and then your vinyl will end up basically resting on the bodywork, undoing all your hard work. So on the floor, there's a slightly different product. This is a Dodo Barrier or Dodo Barrier Pro, can't remember, Dodo Barrier, I think. And this is a closed cell foam with the vinyl over the top. That's actually quite that here. Um, so the vinyl goes on the interior of the car and the foam goes in between the vinyl and the floor. Same kind of idea, just with the closed cell foam, it's a lot harder for it to collapse and actually give way. So it should be a much longer lasting decoupling layer than the open cell foam, albeit at the cost of not being so good in the first place. But it never goes from not so good to useless. So the open cell foam is going up on the firewall and other places that you don't sit on or step on or anything. So low traffic areas. So it'll be the firewall, uh, probably under the rear bench, things like that. And that should give me a really, really good sound treatment. Um, I think on top of it, I'm gonna try to get the factory carpet back in because it's all fully molded. It fits the car perfectly. It's definitely showing its age, it's not in perfect condition, and it also doesn't match uh, the new headlining I've had made up. So I'm just gonna wander across the unit real quick. Uh, that's not my golf, by the way, in case anyone's excited, that's my mum's. Um, so yeah, there's my new headlining in there. Uh, kind of difficult to get an angle on it, but that's in gray. 
because over time I'm trying to um, swap the interior out uh, into something a bit more modern. So I'm trying to go gray and black where I can. So the brown carpet going back in won't fit that perfectly, but it is a really good carpet and it also has its own sound deadening layer. And I'm going to see if I can just get the camera down onto it here. It's a little bit dark, so it might not show up very well. So you've got a relatively thick pile carpet over a foam layer. Now the foam's gone very old and brittle, so it's probably not very effective as a sound layer, but it's better than nothing. It's definitely going to be better than nothing. And the, um, the carpet I was thinking of using, so I was considering doing a whole a uh, new carpet all of my own. I was going to use the same four-way stretchable stuff that um, the Bad Obsession lads used in Bingy, but it is not designed for um, high traffic. Here it's like footwells and stuff. It's great to put up the sides um, of the car, up on the sills, maybe under your seats, that sort of stuff, but you don't want to put it anywhere where people are kicking and stepping and everything. It's quite light duty. Now I can get around that by putting mats in everywhere, but now I've got the effort of making like fitted mats and I just, I just kind of can't be bothered. Um, also, my carpet's in decent condition. It's not amazing, but it's decent. So if it fits over all this stuff, because obviously this is quite a lot thicker and it's gonna make, you know, I've got transmission tunnels that big, it's now that big. Um, so if it all goes back together, I'll probably try and reuse the original carpet. If not, I'll have to, uh, to throw my own on. In the rear of the boot, there's a whole bunch of little one-way air valves, little rubber flappers, excuse me, while I walk through uh, my very own personal minefield. Now across the back of the boot, Got all these little vents. Now these let air out of the cabin. So if you've got um, if you've got the blowers on or anything like that, all the air that the, that the blower is pumping into the cabin can get back out. Happy days. But you also want to make sure they're one way so that exhaust and stuff, because the back of a car tends to be in vacuum. Is it in vacuum? No, it's probably quite turbulent. What, whatever. Anyway, exhaust gets in. I know this because if I open a window, um, I get absolutely choked by exhaust fumes, and it's okay for a short journey. But you know, on a long journey, on a hot day, especially when you have to have the windows open, um, it gets really, really, really bad. So I've popped a new uh, one of these in because it had actually fallen out completely. I'm trying to get a good angle on this is really confusing. <laughs> so I've popped a new one in here. I suspect I know what happened with the old one. Uh, this bottom corner clip here doesn't really want to seat properly. Like it pops out of place quite easily. And I actually found the one that what the the missing one up inside this. Um, I guess you could almost call it a chamber in here, up in this in this cavity, uh, while I was putting it all back together. Well, I started putting it back together. Obviously, I haven't finished yet. Um, so I'm going to get that button back up. It's just a couple of screws, no big deal. So that's the uh, little cosmetic panel with the um, number plate lights and everything in it. So get that back together today, hopefully. Um, also on today's to-do list, a couple of little bits and pieces. I've got a few gaps in the uh, rubber, this kind of layer one sound deadening treatment. Nothing huge, it's just like the little wedges and stuff that you get between all your different panels. So I've got a couple of little gaps up here that I'd like to fill in. Um, and I think I've still got to do over there and I've got to do this sill. So I'm going to get those all uh, all finished up. And then once I've done that, I'm going to go over all of the gaps in between everywhere with a big roll of aluminium tape. Now that's not really vital. It certainly doesn't help with the soundproofing, but it does mean that all the little bits of rubber that get squeezed up through the gaps here, I hope I'm pointing the camera in the right spot, but you can see loads and loads of spaces where I've been working in the car and kneeling on stuff. I've squeezed out loads of rubber from in between the gaps. So if I get the aluminium foil over it, it will just help reduce the, uh, the tendency of that to stick to whatever I put over the top. Now granted, the next layer I am actually going to be sticking down. So yeah, is it really worth um, protecting that from being stuck to, I don't know, it just feels right. Um, also, I think it will look amazing having this nice big single silver sheet over the whole bottom of the car. So I'm going to get a couple of holes there buttoned up, uh, throw the tape on, and hopefully, um, hopefully call it a night there. Check shop.pedalbox.show for all of our merch, and if you'd like to support us more directly, you can go to patreon.com forward slash pedalboxshow to support our builds from as little as a dollar a month. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell if you want to get notified when we put up new videos, and you can follow us on all the usual channels at Pedalbox Show. Thanks very much for watching, and join us again for another video.